All right, so recently I've been getting some questions about the new special heroes Dragonstone that you can get as a bonus for buying the 100 stone pack, right? And people have been asking me exactly which unit they should get with the stone because there are a lot of options and it can definitely be a little bit overwhelming, right? I mean, just quickly going through them, we have the tech Super Saiyan 3 Teen Gotenks, uh, Super Pycon, Baby Janemba, Boobity, Super Saiyan 3 Teen Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Teen Trunks, Darkness Toa, Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Vegeta, Supreme Kai of Time, the Makyoka Form Demigra, Super Mira, uh, Dark Mask King, the... Yo, there are so many tabs open right now that I think my computer's lagging a little bit. We have Black Mask Saiyan, we also have... Uh, I never remember how to say his name. Is it Cialis or Cialis? Some people said Cialis, but I think they might be trolling me. So I'ma go with Cialis. And then there's also the uh, Great Saiyan Man 3, the, come on, Super Saiyan Cumber, uh, Super Fu Golden Cooler, uh, Super Saiyan Xeno Goku, Super Saiyan Xeno Vegeta, Super Saiyan Xeno Vachex, Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Gohanks, and finally, Super Saiyan 3, Xeno Gotenks. So I didn't count the exact number of units, but it's a lot. It's enough to, once again, lag my computer. And that's why it can be tough to make your decision, right? Because you only get up to two stones and those 100 stone packs are not cheap. So a lot of people might only get one of them. So you wanna make sure that you make that one stone count, right? So I'm gonna try to make this decision uh, a little bit easier for you guys, but you might not love my answers mainly because I feel like there are actually a lot of really good units that are worth your stone and I can't really isolate just one specific unit that everyone should get because it depends on what you're looking for, you know, which teams you're working on, uh, which category units you need more, and so on and so forth. But the easiest place to start would be to focus on the seven units first. The Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, the Super Pycon, the Baby Janemba, the Boobity, the Super Saiyan 3 Teen Gohan, the Super Saiyan 3 Teen Trunks, the uh, Darkness Toa, and that's it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the reason I say focus on these guys first is because they are the seven heroes units that recently got their Extreme Z Awakenings with the new Extreme Z Battle event. And they are all monsters, man. Like all of them are really, really good depending on what you're looking for. So if you want a unit that's more offensively focused, then this Gotenks is going to give you a ton of damage, but also can get some respectable defense. But one thing to note is that he does lose his uh, chance to get an additional super attack after the first five turns. So in longer events, he might not be as impressive, you know? And then we have this Pycon who can infinitely stack attack and defense. He can launch multiple supers. He also hits pretty damn hard and also gets some really good defense. And uh, same thing with the baby Janemba, very good defensive unit, huge damage, huge defense. Um, this Boobity is an exceptional, exceptional support unit. We can also do damage and defense because these days support units are built different, right? They're no longer just these weak units that, you know, can't do anything for themselves and can only support the rest of your team. This Boobity is a beast by himself and he also makes the rest of your rotation more powerful. So great choice right there. Uh, this Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, it's really hard, but also can be very good defensively. If you give him a good amount of orbs, he can get 30% damage reduction. He also gets 30% chance to crit. And just like the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, if you're looking for more units to beef up your Super Saiyan 3 team, then he's a great choice, right? And uh, even though he's more, I would say, offensively focused, he's not really lacking in defense either. He's overall quite balanced, I would say, with this Extreme Z Awakening. And then we have the Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, who pairs very well with the other Super Saiyan 3 units, of course. And uh, he is just a defensive juggernaut. You know, he's really not taking much damage on Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, 
um, Legendary Goku event, even GT Legendary Goku event, he can be viable just because of how great of a tank he is. And now with the Extreme Z Awakening, in the long term, on longer events, he can build up a lot of attack and also do some very, very respectable damage. And then we have uh, Darkness Toa, who has become one of the best extreme supports in the entire game. She gives key plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%. To all extreme class allies, she also gets a big attack and defense boost for herself when she's facing super class enemies, and of course she also has this insane uh, recovery and also support when you fall below 30% HP. So if you want literally one of the best extreme class supports in the game, she's also a fantastic choice. And um, yeah, that does it for the Extreme Z Awakenings. So. At this point, these are the 7 Heroes units with Extreme Z Awakenings, and as I said, they're all amazing options. It just really depends on if you want more Super Saiyan 3s, or maybe you'd rather work on your Battle of Wits team, or Worthy Rivals team with the Pycon. Uh, the Baby Janemba is great on Corroded Body and Mind, Artificial Life Forms, uh, Terrifying Conquerors, so on and so forth. And uh, of course, Boobity is great for the Blue team. He's an amazing addition to uh, Majin Power or Power Absorption for sure. And uh, then you have, you know, the other Super Saiyan 3s. The Gohan is, I would say, more offensive focused, but also good on defense. Whereas the Trunks is more defensive focused, but also good on offense, at least in uh, medium to long events, you know. So you really can't go wrong with any. Oh, also, of course, I forgot about Toa. Can't forget about Toa. Fantastic, fantastic support unit for essentially any extreme team she can fit on. So um, yeah, you can't really go wrong with any of these seven units. If you are missing any of them, then these should be the ones that you focus on. These should be the ones that you pick up. And uh, outside of these guys, let's say you already have all seven, then you want to look somewhere else, then I would move on to the five new Doken Awakenings that just came out for this celebration, right? And those five are, uh, let's see, this guy, the Fizz Xeno Super Saiyan Goku, the Int Super Saiyan Xeno Vegeta, the Super Saiyan Vegex, Super Saiyan 3 Gohanks, and also the Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Gotenks. So um, out of these five, I do have a personal ranking. Um, I feel like the Goku and the Vegeta are, I mean, they work very similarly, they're pretty much on par, but I do actually prefer the uh, Goku a little bit more just because of his ability to uh, stun enemies. He has the high chance to stun versus Vegeta who lowers attack, which is good, but it's not as good as the high chance to stun. So I would rank these as Goku number one because he is such a freaking monster with the huge attack and defense boost, with the amazing support for Goku's family, with the greatly stacking of attack and defense with every super and the high chance to stun. And then Vegeta second, very close, with uh, a very similar passive except supporting Vegeta's family. And then also greatly stacking attack and defense and lowering attack. And then we have the Super Saiyan Vegex. So out of these three fusions, I do think Vegex is the best, at least right now. Obviously, it's still pretty early on, so my opinion could change in the future but I feel like he's a little bit better than the other two, mainly because he infinitely stacks defense. So on longer events, he's gonna be extremely, extremely tanky. And uh, he also starts off with more attack and defense than the Gohanks and the Gotenks. Uh, whereas these guys need to stack up a bit before they reach their full potential. Although they also get really tanky after a couple supers. So um, I think it's pretty close, but I would put Vegex slightly above Go Hanks and Go Tanks, and then Go Hanks and Go Tanks are almost identical units. Um, I would say they're pretty interchangeable. Just go for whichever one you prefer, whichever one's more useful to you. And uh, yeah, that's where I would rank the five Token Awakenings. So Goku first, then Vegeta, then Vegex, and these two are tied at number four. So if you already have all seven of the Extreme Z Awakened unit, then go for one of these uh, token awakenings that we just got for the celebration because they're all very, very good as well. And uh, if you, for some reason, have 
all five of the Doken Awakened units that we just got, and also all seven of the Extremes the Awakened units, then you probably don't need this video, but we'll quickly go through the uh, other ones, and I'll try to highlight a few that I think are maybe worth it right now. Now keep in mind that none of these guys have Extremes the Awakenings, and you know, once they do get Extremes the Awakenings, um, they could be better than all of the current Extremes the Awakenings and all the current new Doken Awakenings, right? But for the time being, I don't really see a reason to pick one of these guys over the newly awakened units just because the newly awakened units are just straight up better, you know? But with that said, out of the other units here, I would say the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Vegeta are both good choices. They both hit really hard, and uh, the Goku especially can be a very, very good tank. So Vegeta hits harder, but Goku is definitely much better on defense. And then uh, from there, we have the Supreme Kai of Time, who is a solid all-type support unit, but she doesn't really offer too much outside of that. You know, like she needs an Extreme Z Awakening to make her more of a modern support where she can also do some good damage and get some defense. Right now, she's only here for the support and she can also seal which is nice but um, not really worth picking right now in my opinion and uh, from there this guy is overall not that impressive his damage and defense are just both okay but one thing to note is that he is a uh, pretty good linking partner for the Dark King Mechigabura so if you got Dark King Mechigabura and you don't have this guy they do make a good pairing so possibly someone to consider because of that and uh, this guy can greatly raise defense, but outside of that, um, doesn't really impress me at this moment. Uh, this guy, yo, Dark Mask King is a very good tank. Very good tank, I'll say that. But you want to make sure that you bring another Dragon Ball Heroes unit with him, just so he gets the guaranteed guard and uh, can be as tanky as possible, right? And his offense is really not there. He doesn't do a lot of damage at all, but a big part of that is because he recovers 10% of damage dealt as HP, so I guess they didn't want him to heal too much, right? But I can imagine with an Extreme Z Awakening, he might be one of the best healers in the game if he's hitting for like 2 mil plus, because with 2 mil damage, he's recovering 200,000 HP with every single super, which would be ridiculous, right? So he's definitely pretty high on my list as far as the other units are concerned. And then we have uh, Black Mass Saiyan who hits hard and gets some solid defense, but doesn't really do much else outside of that. And uh, this dude, Cialis, Cialis, he can be a real monster, but only after he transforms and it takes a while. So he gets the transformation after or on turn five from start of battle. So in shorter to medium events, you're never really gonna see that um, you know, transformation. And uh, pre-transformation, he, you know, can provide some support, but really doesn't do much else either. And um, his links are not the greatest, in my opinion. You know, he doesn't really have any great linking partners out there outside of, like, LR Baby, I guess, and uh, a few others. But yeah, not the best links I've found, but still a fun unit nonetheless. And uh, we have Great Saiyan Man 3, who could have been so great because of those counters, but he only works on Time Travelers, guys. He only works on the Time Travelers category, which makes him a very limited unit, and he also loses 30% defense after receiving an attack. So even though he's countering attacks, he also is quite squishy when he counters, so that can get you in a lot of trouble. Um, so as far as the design of this unit, it's interesting, but I don't love it, honestly. So next up, there is the Super Saiyan Cumber, who um, doesn't do a lot right now. I mean, as you can see, his passive is pretty basic. He can turn into a great ape, and he also has a high chance to stun any super class enemies that attack him. So on like Super Battle Road, for example, it's really useful, where if you put him in front of a lot of attacks, then he can, in theory, stun the entire enemy team, right? But his defense, I've found um is not amazing you know like he gets some defense but it's not high enough where you would feel safe about you know making him a primary tank or you know putting him in front of a bunch of attacks so 
you know, with the Extremes Awakening, I'm sure he becomes much more tanky, and he'll be a lot more useful at that time. And uh, Super Fu is an okay unit as well. Um, you know, he gets dodge chance and then just the attack and defense boost. So nothing really too special at the moment. Good damage, good defense. It's kind of it at the moment. And uh, Golden Cooler, also another cool unit, but still not worth picking up at the moment without an Extreme Z Awakening. Um, and there you go. That does it for all the units, I guess. So as I said, guys, um, any of the Extreme Z Awakened units, like the Go Tanks, or Pycon, or Baby Janemba, Boobity, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, and uh, Darkness Toa should be top on your list of priorities. They should be the ones that you go for if you are missing any of them. And if you happen to have all of them, then I would move on to the uh, five new Dokkan Awakenings, namely Go Tanks, Go Hanks, Vegex, Vegeta, and Goku. And my ranking for them would go as Goku, Vegeta, Vegex, and then these two are on the same level. And uh, from there, you know, you got some other options too, but I just think a lot of them right now are not good enough to warrant your, uh, you know, special stone that you paid for. And they're not going to be getting Extreme Z Awakenings until at least next year. So if you're willing to hold on to them and just like wait a year for them to get that improvement, then feel free to. But for the time being, I think a lot of these guys are just like kind of meh, you know, not really units that you would use a lot. So uh, they're not really worth the stone to me right now. And there you go, guys. That is going to be today's video. Uh, like I said, you know, I wish I could give you a more concrete answer, but I really can't. It's really tough because we do have a lot of good options within these two groups, the uh, Extreme Z Awakenings and the Token Awakenings. And it all really depends on what you're looking for, what you need. But I hope that this video helped you guys in some way in making that decision. Hopefully, it made things uh, a little bit easier. And that's it, guys. That's going to be today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.